thank you sir for uh, giving me the opportunity and uh, uh, voters and the uh, audience those who have given the vote uh, in the last uh, time and because of that we are all, all here and it is a very good initiative of ICI to bring uh, AI into the picture because nowadays it is very much important for finance person and uh, for a chartered accountant that we should use AI because it helps us to reduce our uh, time, it helps us to increase our productivity and efficiency. With the use of AI, we can do the hours of time in just a uh, flip of the seconds and uh, that is the need of the hour. Now let me share my screen. Today, uh, I'll be using how, with the help of the AI, we can do the reconciliation of GSTR 3B and the input uh, register. I have seen in uh, every time, uh, whether the CFM, whether the corporate, uh, everybody needs this reconciliation because GST is the part of uh, our life. And every month, we need to do the reconciliation. We need to do the uh, 3B reconciliation. Uh, sorry, by mistake, it is 3B return, it is 2B. So uh, input register data with the GSTR 2B. So every month we need to do the reconciliation and all the finance persons, all the chartered accountants, whether the CA students also, they face very difficulty in doing this reconciliation. Either they use the VLOOKUP, they use the private tables, and they use the other different, different methodology. Or other last option is that to use the paid software. So instead of that, what we can do so that this reconciliation can be done with the help of the AI. So for that, uh, I have used, uh, uh, why I have chosen this as well, I have written that because it is very much required into the finance fraternity. Everybody needs this GST reconciliation. Every month we need to do this GST reconciliation. We waste a lot of time on doing this reconciliation because nowadays government has mandatory that whatever is coming in the 2B that you need to take into the consideration. But what is not coming in 2B or what is coming in the tally, what is, uh, there is a difference between the data. That data we need to share it with the client and ask them the boss, this is not coming into the GST or 2B and that thing you need to check it with your clients, why they have not filed the return why there is a difference in the invoices. So all these things, we need to do it manually. So instead of doing it manually, I have built a program for that. And with the help of that program, we can do it all these things automatically with just flick of the second. So what we need to do this reconciliation, we need uh, actual GST to be of the client. We need the GST input register for the same. And after that, we will be using the chat GPT and uh, Excel macros. With the help of that, we will do this uh, reconciliation uh, practically, and we will see that how quickly this reconciliation will be done with the help of the AI. Otherwise, that reconciliation used to take hours of time. That reconciliation will be done in just seconds. We will be able to do it. Now, I will come back uh, on the use case. So here is my uh, GST registration uh, register. So in which GST at 2B data is coming, and uh, I have this uh, tally data as well, in which the data of the tally is also coming. What I have done, I have prepared a program in which I have uh, be adding the both the data of GSTR 3B, uh, GSTR 2B, as well as GST input register. Both the data will be added here, and after that, I'll share the reconciliation that what are the match cases, what are the differences, and uh, whether data is coming into the GSTR 2B, whether data is not coming in our data. So for that, what I will do, I'll just copy the data. Prompt, I have already written, I'll come on that as well. So whatever the required details we need, I have taken all these required details, whether the taxable value, whether the ITC date, these things we need to do the reconciliation. So here we will be giving the remark, TSTR, because this data is for the taken from the GSTR 2B. Now I'll go back and take the data from the tally, what is coming into the tally register.
date also will be there. So now here we will write our data because this data is in our books. Original invoice number, this is our original invoice number. I will be writing this invoice number once again here. And this is the macro sheet uh, in which, first of all, I'll tell you uh, how, uh, first of all, I'll share that uh, reconciliation. And after that, I will tell you how I have done it and uh, what are the steps I have taken. So I have already built the macro. And uh, for that, I have written the prompt here. With the help of that prompt, I want to do the GST reconciliation. And uh, I'll explain this uh, macro as well. So let's suppose I copy this macro. And uh, this go to the chat GPT. I'll paste this macro here and I will ask the macro code from the chat GPT. So instead of ChatGPT, we can ask from the Gemini as well. So I'm asking with the help of the Gemini that meantime ChatGPT gets loaded. So VBA code, I have got it from here. Same VBA code, which I have got it from the AI tool. I have copied this VBA code here in my working and this VBA code I have copied and pasted into the developer tab into the visual basic. So here this VBA code has been pasted. And now after that, I need to just run this macro or I can simply create the button. As soon as I run this, my result is coming here. Whenever there is a difference, it has highlighted the difference. And whenever there is no difference, it will mention that there is no difference. Whenever there is a difference between the two set of data, it will mention that there is a difference between our data and the GST data. Whenever uh, data is not in our records, it will mention that data is not our, our records. And whenever there is a data uh, which is not in the 2B, it will mention that data is not into the GST or 2B. To do this reconciliation, what, uh, method last two minutes left. what methodology I have taken, I have asked the uh, AI tools to remove all the special characters from this data. So these are the special character I mentioned that I want to remove these special characters. And after that, I want to merge uh, the no, uh, numeric number with the GSTN number so that I have created this unique GSTN number. This unique GSTN number or unique GST plus invoice number is my unique number, which will be different for each and every uh, case. So in 2B, this number is coming and uh, in our data, this number is coming. So after that, I have written that. I want to uh, remove these numbers. And after removing this number, please match whether the, this unique number uh, is having the you know same value in 2B and uh, in our data. If it is having the same value, then you should write the comment match. If it is not having the same value, then you should write the comment whether uh, it is in uh, 2B, whether it is in our data. And if there is a difference, difference margin, I have taken it up to the rupees 20. If it is up to the rupees 20 difference, then it will mark it as a nominal difference. So these four, five scenarios I have given, the comment should come. And after that, I have written it as that once this difference comes, I want to color it into the different, different color, red color, white color, and blue color, so that we can easily understand. So this reconciliation, people used to take a lot of time to do this reconciliation. Now, with just one button, this reconciliation of ours can be completed in just a few seconds. The only thing you need to do is you need to just copy paste the data of uh, GST at 2B and your uh, input register into this file. And you can work with the thousands of line items as well. There is no limit on the number of line items. If it would have been a 2,000, 5,000 line items, on these 2,000, 5,000 line items also you can work. 
and easily do the reconciliation and identify where is the difference in your GST value. So this is all from my side. Our uh, jury, yes. Manu sir, sir thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, Nithin, you right. um, Deepak ji, um, I think uh, what you showed us was a wonderful use of data analytics and uh, how to use macros. Uh, but I think the AI part which you uh, wanted was just how to create a macro. AI, AI part is that uh, I have written the prompt. And probed, I have pasted into the chat GPT. Chat GPT has given me the macro because I am not the technical person. Um, so uh, I will be, uh, see, we, we are the chartered accountant, we are the finance person. We do not know the writing of the course. So we know that what we want to get it done from uh, the AI, what we want to get it done from our article. So that thing, I know that both I need these things and these are the steps you need to perform. If I will be performing these steps, it will take a lot of time. So instead of that, you perform these steps and once the macro is built, it takes only one second uh, to do the result. So for macro AI part, I have went to the chat GPT and uh, chat GPT has given me this uh, macro. macro. Thank you. So Deepak ji has a follow-up question. So we yes, need sir. to keep on upgrading the macro setting also for uh, better results as per our requirement. No, no, no simple, uh, need to upgrade or uh, change any macro settings. The only thing is that you need to go to this, uh, even chat GPT will tell you where to paste this macro. In my case, developer tab is coming. So alt F11, uh, once you, the prompt will be generated from the chat GPT. It will give you step-by-step -step guidelines where that code need to paste it. Because in Excel file, we know that uh, once the macro is pasted in any file, like in context utilities we see, the only thing is that you need to save this file as a macro file. We all know that because we are using the in income tax utilities and GST utilities. If you simply save it into the uh, .excel file, it will not uh, work in future. Currently it will work, but in future will not work. But if you want this file to be worked lifetime, then in that case, the only thing you need to do is at the time of the saving, you just need to save it as a Excel enabled macro, which we all uh, doing it uh, since long time. So since you are working uh, as a, so what is the, what you envisage the future changes or modification, which can enhance the value of this, uh, solution which you have created anything you can add uh, but my uh, take here is that to all the professionals to the fellow members key that we should learn the uh, prompt engineering how we can write the prompt if we know the prompt writing then we can do anything right now uh, the government has told us that you know we need to do the work with the gst or 2b and uh, your 3b or input register let's suppose in future government says that instead of 2b now you need to do the reconciliation with the gst or 2a so in that prompt, instead of writing 2B, we will be changing it to the GSTR 2A or any other utility. Let's suppose government says now you need to do the reconciliation between GSTR 1, 2, and 3. So only thing is that just slightly modification in the prompt and your macro code will change and rest of the things will work automatically. No need to do any changes. This is the fastest way we can do the reconciliation without using any software, without using any third-party software, and it's free of cost. Even uh, to, do, uh, to get this macro, uh, I'm not using the paid version of chat GPT uh, with the free version of chat GPT. We can get so chartered accountants, uh, whether in industry, whether into the practice, they can use it simply without paying single rupee. Just register on the chat GPT and get the code and uh, start working uh, in their sheet. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that.